Love is a temporary madness. It erupts like an earthquake and then subsides. And when it subsides, you have to make a decision. You have to work out whether your roots have become so entwined together that it is inconceivable you should ever part, because this is what love is. Love is not breathlessness, it is not excitement, it is not the promulgation of promises of eternal passion. That is just being in love, which any of us can convince ourselves we are. Love itself is what is left over when being in love has burned away. And this is both an art and a fortunate accident. Your mother and I had it. We had roots that grew towards each other underground. And when all the pretty blossoms had fallen from our branches, we found that we were one tree and not two. Love is important and you should love each other the most. My name is Lily. I'm nine years old. Today is the 27th of July 2017. Today I'm feeling happy but nervous at the same time. We're here in Portugal to celebrate my mum and dad's wedding. My mum's name is Alice. I find my mummy funny when she pulls funny faces. This day is really special to me because I love my mum and dad lots and I like to see them happy. This is going to be one of the happiest days of our life. My name is Annie. I'm five years old. My dad's name is Neil. I'm feeling excited. It wasn't until I started working at the Dog and Duck that I really noticed and became intrigued by this blue-eyed boy. I first met Alice through my friend Tom, who just had to so happened to be her brother. I went round to see him one day and there was Alice sitting on the sofa watching TV. And I was smitten from that day forward. He had a smile on his face all the time and a warm and endearing aura that I couldn't help but be drawn towards. As we lived so close, we used to see each other all the time, and our friendship soon developed into something more romantic. Little by little, Alice and I got to know each other. She is without doubt a wonderful lady, kind and generous beyond belief. The more time I spent with him, the more I wanted to know about him. I fell completely head over heels in love with Neil very quickly. Full of fun, mischief, I grew more and more fond of her and love being in her company. We are from very different backgrounds, didn't have much common ground, and with me going off to university, could we stand the test of time? When Alice went off to Nottingham University, we would speak on the phone every night, and I'd make sure we saw each other every weekend. I really missed her, you see. Seeing Neil being the best father to our three perfect children has made me love and appreciate him so much more than I could have imagined. The reality is, we wouldn't be this amazing, perfect little family without his beautiful soul.
first he met Neil at the age of 13, during the school summer holidays when the Wilsons first moved to Linton, Cambridgeshire. With no friends in the area, it was Neil and his brother Matt and Ben who took it upon themselves to invite me to play football with them, with them and their friends. From there we all became inseparable, even starting a paper round together. In 2005, Neil then announced to me that he wanted to take Alice out on a date. I tried absolutely everything I could to warn him against this, but I must admit I couldn't have been more wrong. Father of the Bride is something I think most fathers with daughters, it crosses their mind as their daughters grow up. What is it going to be like when I walk up the aisle with my daughter? And it was very emotional. We have always been enormously proud of Alice, and we never say it to her, but we are. Alice and Neil, we're incredibly proud of you. We're incredibly happy for you. We wish you a long and happy life together. Neil, will you take Alice to be your wife? I will. Alice, will you take Neil to be your husband? I will. So will you, the family and friends of Neil and Alice, support and uphold them in their marriage, now and in the years to come? <laughs> I, Neil, take you, Alice, to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish till death do us part, according to God's holy law. In the presence of God, I make this vow. I, Alice, take you, Neil, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish till death do us part. According to God's holy law, in the presence of God, I make this vow. I therefore proclaim that you are now husband
discovered that Neil was finally about to propose to Alice, it felt so genuine and sincere. Because despite all of the peer pressure that we've been giving him for years, he wanted to propose when it felt right for them as a couple. And that sums them up perfectly. They don't follow a rule book to meet other people's expectations, but they follow their hearts. The one thing that has always guided them through are their feelings for each other. It has been a carefully thought through decision by two people who have decided to walk the rest of the road together. It's a marriage, not just a wedding. Anyone who knows the couple well will know that they complement each other and that they've been there for each other against all odds. They have both sacrificed so much for each other and every hurdle life has thrown at them, they have become stronger and more united. I, for one, am thrilled that the young waitress at the Dog and Duck caught your eye, Neil. And I'm thrilled that you pursued Tom's fit best mate and didn't give up in making him your baby daddy. Marriage is not only about finding a person to live with, it's about finding a person you can't live without. And I'm sure you'll all agree, Neil and Alice have found that person. 